Here we are with Substation Design Suite, and we're going to place some trenching. So right now I have my training substation open, and within my underground assembly, I have my trench assembly. And we'll open up the trench assembly. And here I have a sketch pre-made on the XY plane. I will edit that sketch. We can see there's dimensions on that sketch. Now, in placing and referencing to get a good location of that sketch, I use the training skeleton. I have work planes that I can project the work planes onto this sketch, dimension to it, locate it, and then what I need to do is remove those work planes. So usually I would delete the work planes. I would project the work plane. dimension to it, then I would delete the work plane. The reason I would delete the work plane is currently the sketch tool will put a trench on every line it sees, and it will put a, a, line, a trench on that projected plane. So once I have the sketch where I want it, I would use the fix tool to fix it in, into place, to lock it down into place, and go from there. So I'll finish my sketch, and I'll make it visible. And there's my sketch. So when we go into sketch, we have three types. So let's look into our settings. This is our below grade settings. We'll go in into trench. We have three types of trench we can place, form, port on site, prefab, T's and L's and X's, and then T's, L's and X's form from straight sections. So right now I'm, I will place the default prefabbed ones. I'll place those in and I'll hit save. So, I'll, so typically with um, the ground grid, trenching and conduit, we all make these items from a sketch. So I'm going to take my trench from sketch, and I will select my sketch. Now we can have multiple sketches in a assembly. So when you have a large assembly, you may want to have more than one sketch, or you could even have more than one assembly. Because we're using that substation modeling strategy, in most cases, it would be easy to connect the trenching together. So now that I have my trench placed, it's placed the lids on for me, and it's played, and it's placed the, a trench that is in the database. Of course, the database can be modified by looking at the substation design content editor, and we spoke about that earlier. So if we were going to edit that trench, we'd come into our trenching down here, and we could change what that trench looks like. This is a substation design content editor. So now that I have my trench, what I can also do is start adding loose pieces. So if it's not in the sketch that I need to add, let's find the end piece in the browser. And what I will do, I will add a straight. And I will place a loose trench piece on here. So I can add an L if I wish. And I'm, I will add an L. I can add a left or right L. I'm going to take the branch left. Done. I'll take this last piece here. And I will pick the point. And with that, I have an L. And we can continue to add in that manner. So that is adding the prefab T's and L's. Now if we were going to add some of the others that we can set up, I'll go into another assembly that I've made beforehand. And here's my trench again. I'll go into my below grade tools, change my settings, 
In this one, I'm going to do the port at site. Save. I'll place my trench port at site. Again, this can be fully edited to whatever you need, whatever your custom pouring is. Sometimes the pour is just two walls and no uh, bottom or top. So it's it can be fully customized in the substation design database editor. The other trench style, I'll open up a third assembly and we'll select that one again. So let's go into our below grade tools, settings, French. I'm going to put prefab T's and L's, and I'll I'll leave it at Comcast. These are custom. These are not part of the standard install. These are just custom that I had made for uh, another customer. So I'll save that. I'm just showing it to you so that you know what you can do. So let's pick our sketch. And what we have is a family of available trenches. I picked Comcast, and there's a, a family of Comcast trenches. So I'm, I will take the 820s family, and I'll say Done. And with that, it will place the 820 family of trench pieces onto that sketch. And as, as you can see, it's placed them in. It's a completely different style of trench because it's based on that family of sizes. So there's three trench types, and each trench type is fully customizable to meet the needs that are required. And that's all.